Joining me now is former Prime Minister H.D. Devagauda and former Chief Minister of Karnataka H.D. Kumaraswamy. Together, they've not just scripted the politics of the old Mysore region, but have also often scripted post-poll politics in Karnataka. And as we head into an election, sir, my first question is, the BJP says that voting for the JDS is like voting for the Congress. The Congress says JDS is BJP's B team. Who is your number one enemy? Yeah, both the parties, they treat us like enemy only. Whenever they require JDS assistance, then they will come to us. That is their character. But I wanted to tell you one thing. Whatever BJP friends telling, we are the B team of Congress. Then Congress telling we are the BP, BP team of BJP. But my message is that we are the B team of Kanadigas. We are with Kanadigas only. Real uh, ground relatives, our, uh, we are the B team of Kanadigas. That is my analysis. Sir, how do you see this, sir, in this election? Is this a fight for survival for JDS in these elections? See, the JDS, the Supremo is H.D. Kumar Swami. Actually, I am not praising him as he is my son. He is working very hard and created full confidence in the people of the state because he became twice chief minister with the support of BJP for about 18 months with the support of Congress for 14 months during that short tenure he has worked a lot and people trust him the trust is more important rather than making false promises so that's why I am in full confidence this time he will get working majority. Okay, but sir, in the event of not getting a working majority, and I say that the Congress has been the Congress has got two leaders who's there. One is D K Shiv Kumar, who represents the same caste vote that the JDS has. The other is Siddharamaiya. Who do you think is the bigger enemy for the JDS? Is there one person you no, prefer over the no, other? No, I would like to tell you. I don't want to comment on the Congress, D.K. Shukumar or Sidrame. What all happened in Varuna, this Edirapa son earlier wanted to contest in Varuna against Sidrame. Then that was withdrew. Now some other candidate was thought over. All that, what is going on, it is left to that party to come to their own opinion. I don't want to unnecessarily tarnish the image of any individual, but it is their high command that has to take. Sir, uh, you know, uh, in a sense, the BJP seems to be going after the old Mysore region in a way that it has not before in the past. You've seen a lot of campaigns down there. Today, Yogi Adityanath is there. Does that make you nervous? Is there a fear that the core caste vote of the JDS may desert the party or may break or splinter? Whatever effort they are doing from BJP side by sending several leaders from Delhi to divide the voters in Mandya or Mysore or anywhere we are, where we are strong, it will not work out according to me. So what is your thought on opposition unity, sir? No, opposition unity I cannot say because I have not told the state. Only Kumar Swami has got West Bengal and Telangana and he was also concentrating only in Karnataka because the time is very short. And only after the assembly election is over, he can think of uh, approaching the other friends, not now. So what about the last issue that one has seen uh, in Hassan as well, there was a dispute over the ticket. Is there a rift within the family? Is it, does that worry you at some point of time? The kind of news reports that one saw about who's getting the seat at Hassan, whether it is your daughter-in-law, whether it is the party worker. How do you deal with all that? Just watch for about 20 days how Hassan will they give the mandate with the people of Hassan district. Just watch. But don't you feel, uh, is I there a... I myself will take the responsibility about my home district.